Well, so since my break-in period for the motorcycle is pretty much over, I decided that today was gonna be the day that I'm gonna change the oil of this motorcycle. It's a 2016 CBR 650F. So for this oil change, you're gonna need three quarts of oil, a new oil filter, a funnel, a stand of some sort, a drain pan, and a 12 millimeter socket. I prefer to use breaker bars so that way I don't break my ratchets. So the first order of business is to get the motorcycle a bit warmed up so the oil flows out easier. I just happen to ride it here so it's pretty good. Uh, so let's go underneath. <clears throat> so once you're underneath you're going to see this plug right here. That's the oil drain plug. Careful for the exhaust it's actually pretty hot. I'm going to go move this over a little bit and try to squeeze in and break that loose. And now I'll move the drain pan right back to catch all the oil. And then if you look further up, that's your oil filter right there. And I got two caps because I'm honestly not sure of which one of them will work. So as soon as I get the drain plug out, I'm going to go ahead and test fit those on. Let's go ahead and get the oil out. So. There we go. Actually did not take as much effort as I imagined. I'll just put it out my hands. Get that closer. Careful not to touch the exhaust. I can just feel how warm it is. Otherwise it would be an understatement. Try to pop it right out. Get as little oil on the ground as possible. There we go. Hey, that oil actually looks off oh, mighty good. fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this drain out for a little while. It shouldn't take too long. And here, let me even open this. There we go. That'll even. All right. There we go. I'm gonna put this off on the side right here. Almost done. Go ahead. All right. That's that's over. Let's go ahead and grab a paper towel. Assuming they have a yep, they have a washer on here. Wipe this off. I'm letting it sit in there for a little bit. Alright. Now that the oil is more or less drained out. Put that down. Motorcycles is that a more powerful than the other one? Three times. <laughs> what was that mean? You can go ten times faster? Uh, Two and a half. Two and a half. Wow. That's awesome. Uh huh. Is that brand new? Yes. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Two thousand sixteen brand new. Enjoy it in good health. Yep. Wow. Honda. Yep. CBR? Uh-huh. And then 650. Yeah. Yeah, the 650 is the displacement of the motor, so it's 650 cubic centimeters. So it's 600. As opposed to? 250. That's 250. Oh. It's yeah. 250, it's two cylinder, it's four cylinder. It's two time power. Mm -hmm. The four engine, it's much easier working. It looks heavy. It? Yeah, yeah it's 400 heavy. pounds. Can you change your new oil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's 300, uh, 300, 300 miles. miles is the considered the break in period of a. I mean, you do this with cars too normally, but the first few hundred miles you take a ride it nice and easy, and that way all the, the piston rings seat properly. 
So in the light, like in the end future of the motorcycle, it won't start to burn oil. It's like new car. When you buy a new car, one thousand one thousand uh, miles, yeah. you just change the oil. So what kind of mileage do you have on it so far? It's three hundred miles. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, enjoy. Uh, three thirty-six. Three thirty-six. Did you use regular gas? Uh, they, it prefers premium. Uh -huh. So, but in, it's a four gallon tank. It's three point something. And I average about 55 miles a gallon. So it's, it's worth it. Enjoy. Thanks, Bob. All right. Will we let you ride it? No. <laughs> Па, ты знаешь как? Ты знаешь как кататься? Не. Я спросил его, он знает, как ехать, и он сказал нет. Все, теперь что это будет решено, что воду полностью выбрана. Я возьму это, возьму это из рук, и потом... Tighten this up just a little bit, but I'm only gonna do this temporarily while I get the oil filter out. And as soon as I get the oil filter out, I'm gonna probably undo this again just to make sure all of the old oil is out of this. So let's see if, according to spec, normally you are only supposed to hand tighten oil filters. So if I'm correct, this might be easy. And let me check up how close I was with my guess. I was right on point. So, when you're doing this, if you're watching this, if you go to advance, it's gonna be a 65 millimeter cat filter wrench, and the part number, at least for now, is AC1084. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a driver, which I don't, oh, actually extension would be perfect. That extension to the twist. And we make sure it loosens. Boom. And we're gonna go ahead, pop it on, give it a twist. Alright, that took a little bit more than hand tightening strength. Let's go ahead and put pop this right under. of oil to spill on yourself it's fortunately inevitable oh there we go there we go there we go there we go almost and spilling all over my hand and we're out and just dump it over and then mine it's a little, oh perfect to fill right in the spot all right, so that's, there we go. So we're pretty much almost halfway there as soon as we get the new filter on. And that's gonna be the official, oh, almost end point. I'll wipe off as much oil as I can. Just gonna go ahead and grab another pair of gloves while I'm at it. So I'm gonna let that drain out a bit. Um, then, uh, almost done.
here again. I don't know what to do. Push that over there. And then this will go up. And there we go, more oil. This is why I made sure to do that because of the filter. Done. I'm just gonna crawl under there and uh huh. So that is where the filter is, it's right up there. Let me go ahead and wipe all this off free of oil. I'm gonna grab some degrees here in a second after I put all this back on. Uh, main thing is to clean off the seal. So now, the so now the most important part is going to grab the new filter. Moisten up the seal. That way it seats nice and tight. And then you can do it. There you go. And this, if I recall, might also be at 12 mil? Question mark? Definitely not 12 mil. Uh, 15 question mark? Seventeen? It's at 17. Uh, 
up on under there. So grab this piece off. Grab it. Right, let's get under there. Now that we're under it, gotta go ahead and thread it. Perfect. Let's thread it on. Fairly hand tied on. I'm just gonna grab the extension that I had somewhere. There it is. One, seventeen. Perfect. Climb up underneath, and now ten, 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 ten. Just do a little bit more. Boom. And that was the fun part. Oh. Well off. This out. Yeah, nice and nice. Go ahead and wipe it off so it uses as a measuring stick in a bit. Right. Stop. Grab your funnel. If you're gonna go to advance, just get this. Fits perfectly. <laughs> gonna gonna go up. There's one. Just gonna open these so I can pour them in. And I'm getting the. Mo I know it calls for mobile one. Ah, uh, not mobile one. It calls for 1030. However, this mobile one 1040 I found to be perfect. Plus I. Live over the mid-Atlantic where our summers are average of nine degrees, so should work out just great. Alright. Let's see how it goes. Дай мне другой лейк какой-то маленькую. Здесь угол не подходит. Угол. Да не залезет. All right, this is actually a lot better. Perfect. So if you're gonna get one, get one that's about this size. It's gonna perfectly pour in. And just go for it. And when you go for it, do you have. One. That's three. Nothing. Yeah. 
that thing. Yeah. Similar story. Alright, we'll go ahead and see how much oil we have. We are just a bit past the line, which is perfect. I'll go ahead and wipe that off. If you do get oil anywhere, uh, some degreaser, it's gonna be about perfect. So it doesn't leave a residue look. I'm gonna go ahead and actually wax this down because it does have its fair share of dirt on it. I'm quickly spray this guy down. Now the most important part. There you go, and that's how you change the oil on a 2016 Honda CBR 650. Good.